What's up guys? I have two new projectors from Elephas and they are radically different. This is a mini projector with 1080p resolution support, up to 200 inches screen size and a built-in Wi-Fi for wireless connection of Android and iOS devices. When it comes to this projector, it is a flagship model with 4K resolution support, 1000 NC lumens brightness, autofocus and auto keystone correction, and a smart system with Netflix, YouTube and App Store. I'm very interested in testing this projector, so a video with a full review of the LFS W1K will be coming soon. But now let's do an unboxing and review of a mini projector called LFS W13M. By the way, the page on Amazon says it is a 2023 upgraded model. You can buy this projector for about $100. The Elephas W13M is a mini projector, so it comes in a compact box. However, there is a carrying bag inside. That's very good, because you can carry the projector and accessories to it with you everywhere. The side pocket of the bag has a user manual, a quick start guide, and a cleaning tool. Among accessories to the projector, a remote control, HDMI cable, AV cable, power adapter, and a tripod. Of course, there is a projector itself in the back. So even though this is an ultra-budget projector, it has a carrying bag and a tripod. That's very good. You know I have already tested the Elephas W13 projector on our channel Tech Brothers, and the Elephas W13M has a similar design to it. The body is made of the same black matte plastic, however the new projector is more compact. Its dimensions are 155 by 130 by 60 mm. The weight is 450 grams. So it is a lightweight and compact projector that is convenient to carry around. The Elephas W13M has a lens and IE receiver on the front panel. The second IE receiver and DC power port are on the back. Multiple ports are located on the side face, such as USB, HDMI, AV, and headphone jack. The projector also has a removable filter. It is very slim and small, but it can prevent dust from getting inside the projector. There are focus and keystone correction wheels on the top, as well as control panel. Finally, we can see the tripod mount at the bottom. The projector can also stand on four upraised feet. If you are interested in the remote control, it is common for all budget projectors. Ok, now we can turn on the projector and look at the multimedia system and settings. The Elephas W13M doesn't have a smart operating system, so you need to connect an external device to the projector. There are many ways to do this here. You can use a wireless connection such as DLNA, iOS Cast and Android Miracast. We will check how it works a little later. You can also connect a USB flash drive, as well as another external device via the AV port or HDMI port. There is also a setup section on the home screen. Let's take a look at the projector settings. First, we have picture settings, where we can change picture mode, color temperature, and rotate front projection. Sound settings include sound mode and balance. The Elephas projector also has a sleep timer, auto sleep and OSD timer. The other options in the settings are OSD language. Restore factory default, software update, OTA upgrade and reduce the display. Finally, we can connect to a Wi-Fi network. Let's do this. First, we need to turn on the Wi-Fi and then go to wireless and select Wi-Fi network. After that, return to the home screen. As I already said, we have different wireless connection methods. You can use DLNA, Android Miracast and iOS Cast. I have an iPhone, so we will choose iOS Cast. All you have to do is take your smartphone. Go to screen mirroring and select the projector. Now you can open any app on your phone, for example YouTube or Instagram, and watch it on a big screen. 220 watts country, but also has tape A plug. 
for USA. The Jiaban had many other cultures. Think Before we get to the image quality, let's measure the noise level of the LFS-W13M projector. It is a budget LED projector with no very high brightness, so it is not very noisy. The noise level is about 48 decibels near projector. And 40 decibels at 1 meter. The manufacturer claims that the maximum screen size of the LFS W13M projector is 200 inches at a distance of 5 meters. However, I put it closer to the wall, about 2 meters away, and my screen size is 70 inches. When connecting the laptop to the projector via HDMI cable, we see 1080p resolution on the screen. But the projector actually only supports 1080p, but its native resolution is 720p. Although the text is pixelated, it reads well. The contrast ratio of LFS projector is 10,000 to 1. The colors look very decent for a budget projector. As for the brightness, I haven't found any information on that. However, in my opinion, it is enough to watch any content in a dark room. Now I want to show you some videos with no commentary. Fits from the TD500 in the engine, the 5 liter Coyote V8 making 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated, that is pretty awesome. I'm going to say for the money, I'm a little disappointed with this interior. Materials are not amazing in here. The cabin is spacious and handsome, comfortable for long haul driving. The hybrid setup powering most trim levels operates seamlessly with luxury car like quietness. Gaspian's fortunes were changed though in the next end.
misjudged their team's last throw, and it pushed a Canadian stone closer to the bottom. On the other hand, the brightness is definitely not enough for using the projector in a bright room. You need to make room as dark as possible. While you were watching videos, you could appreciate the quality of the building speaker. It looks pretty good to me for a compact projector. The volume level is very good, but the sound lacks clarity. Anyway, the projector's built-in speaker is good for a small or a medium-sized room. So the Elephas W13M is a good projector for under $100, although it has only 720p native resolution and we don't even know the brightness, as the image looks decent in a dark room. I also like the Wi-Fi support for wireless smartphone connection. By the way, even though this is an ultra-budget projector, it comes with a carrying bag and tripod. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. See you later.